salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, vela premunt hostilia, tarobur per auxilium. Unitrino que domino, sit semperna gloria, qui vitam sine termino, no bistone in patria. With this rose, I bind my children to the immaculate heart of Mary. Remember all those we have praying for and all those who have asked for our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the immaculate heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the immaculate heart of Mary your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Mary, your well-beloved spouse. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. For our Pope, the bishops, and the priests, pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, hail and full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Glory is the resurrection. We offer you, O oh Lord Jesus, this first day your glorious resurrection, and we ask of you this mystery, and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, love of God, and fervor in your service. Amen. Ave, Ave, Ave. Who art in 
in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us us this day day our daily daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but but deliver us. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray pray for for us sinners, sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord. We offer you, O Jesus, this second decade in honor of your triumphant ascension. We ask of you through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, an ardent desire for heaven, our true love. Amen. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, the grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most mercy. This is the third uh, glory is the descent of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. We offer you, O Lord Jesus, this third decade in honor of the mystery of Pentecost, and we ask of you through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, the coming of the Holy Spirit into our souls. Amen. Ave, 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 Maria. Ave, 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 Maria. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and it is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven. Especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We offer you, O Lord Jesus, this fourth decade in honor of the resurrection and triumphant Assumption of your Mother into Heaven. And we ask of you through this mystery and through her intercession, a tender devotion for so good a mother. Amen. Amen. kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise. 
praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. <clears throat> the glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin. We offer you, O Lord Jesus, this fifth decade in honor of the coronation of your Holy Mother. We ask of you, through this mystery and through her intercession, perseverance and grace and a crown of glory hereafter. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it We continue with our prayers. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, 
and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee. I offer thee the most precious body, love, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for all ages, sacrileges, and indifference by which he is by the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. Pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, who do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. Pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I Pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love. Our litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God, Pray Holy Virgin of Virgins, Pray Mother of Christ, Pray Mother of the Church, Pray Mother of Mercy, Pray Mother of Divine Grace, Pray Mother of Hope, Pray Mother Most Pure, Pray Mother Most Chaste, Pray Mother Inviolate, Pray Mother Undefiled, Pray Mother Most Amiable, Pray Mother Most Admirable, Pray Mother of Good Counsel, Mother of our Creator, Pray for us. Mother of our Savior, Pray for us. most prudent, Pray for us. Virgin most venerable, Pray for us. Virgin most renowned, Pray for us. Virgin most powerful, Pray for us. Virgin most merciful, Pray for us. Virgin most faithful, Pray for us. Mirror of justice, Pray for us. Seed of wisdom, Pray for us. Cause of our joy, Pray for us. Spiritual Pray for us. Vessel of honor, Pray for us. Singular devotion, Mystical Rose, Tower of David, Tower of Ivory, House of Gold, Ark of the Covenant, Gate of Heaven, Morning Star, Health of the Sick, Refuge of Sinners, Comfort of Migrants, Comfort of the Afflicted, Help of Christians, Queen of Angels, Queen of Patriarchs, Queen of Prophets, Queen of Apostles, Queen of Martyrs, Queen of Confessors, Queen of Virgins, Queen of all saints, Queen conceived without original sin, Queen assumed in death, Queen of the most misery, Queen of families, Queen of families, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Grant we beseech you, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in continual health of mind and body. And in this intercession of the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, we may be delivered from the darkness of the world. For our Holy Father, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Christus vincit, Christus. 
Christus, reina Christus, Christus imperat. Franco sumo pontificere universali patri, pax fit et salus perpetua. Christus vinci, Christus reina, Christus, Christus impera. Tempora bona veniant, Christi veniat, per immaculatum cor Maria regnum Christi veniat. Christus vinci, Christus reina, Christus, Christus impera. Let me pray a Hail Mary for the International Mary Movement of Priests, Director Father Luca Pescatore, for priests who may be in crisis of faith, and also for all our bishops, priests, and deacons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A declamamus, exules fili, Suspiramus, dementes et plentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes, Oculos ad nos converte, ad Jesum, edictum fructum ventri sui, nobis post hoc exilium, Sancta Dei Genitrix, ut digni in promissionibus Christi. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. this one before we'll just repeat though number 83 October 18 1975 feast of Luke St. Luke the evangelist <clears throat> this was the the number of passage that father go be asked to be read at his funeral I have chosen you, my son, for this simple reason, because you are the poorest, the smallest, and the most limited. Humanly speaking, you are the most destitute. I have chosen you because in your past life, my, adver my adversary had almost succeeded in claiming a victory. In your life, I have had you live as if by anticipation, the experience of what I myself will do at the moment of my great triumph. 
My adversary will one day think that he is celebrating a complete victory over the world, over the church, over souls. It will, on, it will be only then that I will intervene, terrible and victorious, that his defeat may be all the greater when he is certain in his conviction that he has conquered once for all. What is in preparation is so extraordinary that its like has never happened since the creation of the world. That is why everything has already been predicted in the Bible. The terrible struggle between me, the woman clothed with the sun, and the red dragon, Satan, who has now succeeded in seducing many, even with the era of Marxist atheism, has already been foretold to you. The struggle between the angels together with my children and the followers of the dragon, the rebellious angels, has already been foretold to you. Above all, my complete victory has already been clearly foretold. You, my sons, have been called to live through these events. It is now the time for you to know this, that you may be consciously prepared for the battle. It is now the t this is now the time for me to begin disclosing part of my plan. First of all, it is necessary that my enemy have the impression of having everything, of having everything now in his hands. This is why he will be permitted to penetrate even into the interior of my church, and he will succeed in plunging the sanctuary of God into darkness. He will reap the greatest number of victims from among the ministers of the sanctuary. This will, in fact, be a time of great falls on the part of my beloved sons, my priests. Satan will seduce some of them by pride, others by love of the flesh, others by doubts, others by unbelief, and still others by discouragement and loneliness. How many will have doubts about my son and about me and will believe that this is the end of my church? Priests consecrated to my immaculate heart, my beloved sons whom I am gathering together for this great battle, the first weapon that you must make use of is trust in me. It is your complete abandonment to me. Conquer the temptation of fear, of discouragement, of sadness. Distrust paralyzes your activity and greatly benefits my adversary. Be serene, be joyful. This is not the end of my church. What is in preparation is its total and marvelous renewal. The vicar of my in virtue of a gift I grant to him is already able to foresee this, and though living in the present moment of sadness, he invites you to be joyous. To be joyous, you ask me, all surprised? Yes, my sons, in the joy of my immaculate heart, for I enfold you all. My motherly heart will be for you the place for peace, while I the most violent storm is raging. Even if you have been wounded, even if you have fallen many times, even if you have doubted, even if at certain times you have betrayed your calling, do not become discouraged because I love you. The more my adversary has sought to rage about you, the greater will be love for you. I am the mother, and I love you all the more, my sons, for your having been snatched away from me. And my joy is to make each one of you, priests, beloved of my heart, sons so purified and strengthened, that now on no one will ever again succeed in snatching you from the love of my son, Jesus. I will make you living copies of my son, Jesus, and so be content. Be content and be totally abandoned to me. Remain always in prayer with me. The weapon I will use to fight and win this battle will be your prayer and your suffering. 
And then yes to on the cross. And then yes to you too will be with me. I'm sorry. And so then, yes, you too will be on the cross with me and with my son Jesus, close to his mother and yours. And then I myself will do everything because God arranged that this be my my hour and yours, O sons consecrated, my immaculate heart. So it strikes me there is a something akin to the Psalm 23, right? So though I walk through the valley, I fear no evil. Right? And that the good shepherd, we kind of attribute this, the, the psalm of the good shepherd. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. And she, rather, Gobi is a sense of, of a model. Something happened, we don't know exactly what, but I've chosen you because in your past life, my adversary had almost succeeded in claiming a victory. And we don't know exactly what that is, but the idea is, She's going to snatch, as it were, victory from defeat for the whole church, right? And it's going to look defeated, all right? So we've had a taste of this in our time. The closing of the we've seen the reduction of the vocations. We've seen the scandal. She clearly refers to here the great distress scandal of the abuse, the abuse of the most vulnerable, the weakest, and so forth. So the demon is, uh, of course, uh, the enemy must have the impression of having conquered everything. Right? And why is that? Because the church is going to look very much crucified, very much as if dead, but it will rise again just like Christ. And she will have the final say. Her heel will crush his head. St. Michael will chain him and cast him to hell and so forth. So for all the darkness that's around us, for all the sadness, for all the hurt that has gone on in the church, in our lives, and in the lives of our loved ones, we know the Acts for those of us who stay faithful and have stayed in the church. We look around and see our children, brothers, sisters, family, friends, any who've left the ranks of the church because of the scandals, because of because of the works of Satan, because many human beings have fell victim to his wild traps. We have fallen victim in one way or another. Each of us. We've victim in some manner, but we're all, you know, for some reason, we're here still. For some reason, 20 plus years after the scandal first hit in really a big way, there were already little leaks here and there, but 2002, we've survived, we've weathered great storms. We go back, I mentioned this just a few weeks ago, you know that. John Bos Don Bosco dream of the the two pillars and the moving across the the very agitated seas, the great bark, the great piloted by the Pope and so forth, much coming against it. And so the assaults are going on. They've been going on from inside the church. And Pope Benedict, excuse me, Pope Benedict reference to the third secret of Fatima, and they had said when they interpreted it in 2000 that it wasn't a definitive interpretation that other things could be added, and Pope Benedict himself re revisited it in speaking of the truly terrifying, um, shall we say, persecution or scandal, you know, uh, that comes from within the church, that, 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 that the persecution from within the church has happened. And so we know from various places and elsewhere in the book how she makes reference to the fact that the church has been infiltrated, which is to say that not simply 
has a sort of a demonic influence been in there, but, but individuals who are really plotting and planning its destruction, who have been working to loosen the morals, working to loosen the teachings that have been solid for centuries, and uh, over the past century, at least, these forces have been at work. First really kind of named and given a general name by St. Pius X as modernism. Um, uh, but mod in modernism is very relativism in, as, a, as a, a functioning aspect of modernism. And that is, um, and with, with, with a, a line towards a, an element in the realm of, of um, science in evolution, right? So with evolution, you can begin to say like that everything is moving, everything is evolving. Because, you know, you know, generally speaking, more today than you knew 10 years ago. And more than than you did 10 years before that, and more than that. Like we've accumulated a certain amount of knowledge, each and every one of us. So the notion is that as a society, you know, we can just keep evolving, keep evolving. And so we can look back at our theology and look back at our teachings and say, wow. And I got this, you know, you maybe have heard this and stuff like, well, back then, you know, they didn't know about this. And they didn't know about that. So as if in the scriptures, he like, was defective in his knowledge. That's literally, literally, literally the impression that we were given at times. When writers were writing. When the author, all of this doubt that she, she was sewn in to the theology, has been sewn into the life of the church. To a certain degree, we've been rescued by some Protestants, that is, the converts that have come over from Protestantism, who helped us to take a new look at things. And they had a more some of them. Now, it was Protestants, depending on which section you're talking about, who were the, partly the, the first vehicles of these thoughts. There's a school over in Germany called the Tübingen School. Um, produced a lot of this this methodology that brought a lot of doubt into the scripture. Well, if we cut this out this way, if we cut these things apart this way, we slice it and de-dice it, you look deep inside, it's like, well, you know, this is not the thing we always thought it to be, kind of how they were approaching the scriptures. And we can kind of get new lights and new understanding. We can always get new lights, we can get new understanding, but we're, we're going to evolve. Everything's going to evolve. And so, um, but God does. It, I mean, literally, if you didn't know this, in certain areas of Protestantism, they had a thing called process theology, in which God himself evolves. It's, it's real. That God somehow is evolving. It's, it's ludicrous. Ludicrous. Like the God who is outside of all time and space, who knows what you are going to do tomorrow, right? Somehow is lacking. Some of the stuff that's been proposed is preposterous. And yet, people write books about stuff. And so... The church is dying in a certain sense. We have to say that in a real way. But it's not going to die. You know what I mean? Just like somebody could be very, very, very sick, and just as Jesus went and healed, and Jesus has healed people of sicknesses and cancers and all sorts of things. God has done numerous, 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 innumerable miracles history. And that's what it will be like. This is what Our Lady is really saying here. It will be a kind of tension on her part. Things will look very, very dire, but she will come in. She will come in. And so, because of that, we always have to have the hope. As bad as things are, we try to laugh, we try to make 
So try to be joyful, joyous, as she says here. Be joyous. And you remember the first words, and Pope uh, John Paul is really heavily um, promoted throughout this book. He came out onto the, the balcony when he was first elected, what he first say, Jesus, basically, be not afraid. Be not afraid. As she says here, and that her that he, the Pope, knows what's going on. We have the that the Lord is, as I said in today's house of history. There's nothing that escapes God. As the quote in the of the Catechism, I mentioned uh, that it is a mystery that God allows so much diabolical activity and agency, but at the end of the day, history is in God's hands. The church is in God's hands. You and I are in God's hands. Our children and our friends and our family are in God's hands. The politics are in God's hands. We can take ourselves, though, all of us can take ourselves out of God's hands at any point. And that's what we watch for. With every great sin, we can take ourselves out of God's hands, as it were, right? And we have to place ourselves back in through confession to really be, again, in conformity with Mary's immaculate heart. She knows her priest. She knows it's she encourages uh, every step. My joy is to make each one of you, priests, beloved of my immaculate heart, son so purified and strengthened that from now on no one will ever again succeed in snatching you from the love of my son Jesus. And we will want to be so, so given to Jesus that we won't let ourselves be taken by him. So, our Lady is at work, our Lord is at work, and be joyous and be not afraid. Amen? Let's make our consecration. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of we who belong in the movement of priests consecrate ourselves in a very special way to the immaculate heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration. We pledge to bring about in our lives and in ourselves that interior conversion so urgently demanded by the gospel. A conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that like you, we may be available only to always the will of the Father. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, life and vocation as Christians, that you may dispose of it according to your salvation in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world. We pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to the renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist and in the works of the apostolate, the recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the gospel that shall be to all a good example of the observance of love God and the practice of the Christian virtues especially that of purity. We further promise you to be united with the Holy Father, with the hierarchy, and with our priests, in order thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisteria that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, as far as is possible, we promise to lead those 
we come in contact to a renewed devotion to you, mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world. We make so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother. And we invoke again today, wait from you the salvation of all your children, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement of priests called to form the cohort of your priests today consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your Immaculate Heart. By the consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations by our baptismal and priestly consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion that will free us of all attachment to ourselves, our career, our comforts, or to easy compromises with the world so that, like you, we be available only to do always the will of the, of the Lord. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, our so that you may dispose of it for all your designs of salvation in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world, we pledge to live it according to your des desires, <clears throat> especially as of prayer and passion, fervent celebration of the Holy Eucharist and of the Liturgy of the Hours, the day of the presentation of the Holy Rosary, the offering of Holy Mass in your honor on the first Saturday of every month, and a religious and austere manner of life that shall be a good example to all. We further promise you the greatest loyalty to the gospel, of which we shall be genuine and courageous heralds, even if necessary, to the shedding of our blood, we promise loyalty to the church for whose service have been consecrated. Above all, we wish to be united with the Holy Father and the hierarchy, firmly adhering to all their directives, so as thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the church. Under your maternal protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely of prayer and love for the Pope, on whom we invoke your spiritual protection. And lastly, we promise to lead the faithful and trusted to our care devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused a wreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered the holy temple of God, not sparing even many of our brother priests, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world, we make so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother, the powerful Mother. And we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Cantum ergo sacra. Has given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, God, who in this wonderful sacrament left the memorial of thy passion. Grant we implore thee we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood. As always, be conscious of the fruit of thy redemption. Thou who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be so holy. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. May the heart of Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament, be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment of the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Look down with your sweet love. 